So what a day continued, boy, have I made some headway today. So I just had a really great conversation with, uh, let's walk right back in here and see her. She goes by Inkdwell. She's the monarch. She's from, <laughs> I mean, Northern California. I'm like right where I walked up on the dead humpback. I just had a really great conversation with Jen Wilson, the Senate candidate. And so I, I'm getting a lot accomplished. I mean, boy, boy, have I done some walking today. Accomplished a lot today. No nukes. So had a really great conversation with her about anti-nuclearism, about the dead humpback I wrote tomato soup on. There, I told her the whole story. That's her doing. So not hers, but the Monarchy Project. So, really had a fantastic conversation with her. I educated her a lot. She says, oh my God, I had no idea. I told her this history on the School of Wattis in San Francisco here, blah, blah. We talked a lot about the death of the ecology in the Bay. I, you know, I point blank asked, what about Fukushima? She's she, all over Fukushima. She says, oh yeah, nightmare. And you know, and I'm like, I told her about when I walked up on the dead humpback right there where her studio's at in San Francisco, right there at Half Moon Bay. Her studio's at Half Moon Bay. I says, I walked right up on a dead humpback how I was waking up. I wrote, Fukushima killed me with tomato soup on it. So I got in a lot of trouble for that. And I told her the story about how they're supposed to tote him to sea. And they didn't. Everybody threw a fit in her town. And they cut it up with a chainsaw and put it in the dump and how outrageous, blah, blah. She was very engaged with me. Ogden's brought her in. She's doing a bunch of monarchy butterflies as the butterflies die. We talked about the death of the ecology, you know. And so then back, to, more importantly, had a really great conversation with Jen Wilton running for Senate against Mitt Romney. And I really educated her. So I asked her point blank. Jenny, she knows me right off the gate. She said, oh. It's the environmentalist. And I says, yeah. I says, well, you know me, the anti-nuclear energy, the anti-nuclear bonds. I says, well, what's your stance on Fukushima? You know, your stance on, you know, nuclear, it's got to go. It's got to end all of it, all of it. She acknowledged Fukushima. She's the first Utah politician that has candidate. She's running against Mitt Romney. So I educated her. I says, you know, Bank Capital is stair cycle. No. I says, you know, Grassy Mountain up there? Do you know that that's Bank Capital? That's I didn't know. Oh my, she didn't know. But she knew about Fukushima. And she's a native. You tell, what native Utah doesn't know about nuclearism? I'm telling you, grass, everybody who's from here hates them. So I'm getting a lot accomplished. I mean, I walked today from, fuck, I walked clear from 12th and Wall to the University of Weber State today. It was cool. I mean, it took me two hours. But, uh, Head to the hospital right now to get my injection. And so, I get one a month. Uh, we had a conversation about the flu epidemic here at the hospital yesterday. These doctors are like, uh, I mean, I'm educating them. Some of them, some of them know. But, you know, Kevin Appleseed, I guess. The fight goes on. So, I cut across so many demographics, you don't even know. I mean, this activism of mine is so historic, this fight. Who knew that it would come to this place? You know, as the environmentalist, as the artist, I told her, well, you know, I'm really a performance artist. I'm as avant-garde as data as it gets. You know, I told her, she says, really? And she was all turned on and excited about the, you know, my tomato soup on the dead wells. And we had a long talk about the collapsing ecology there and the cancer epidemic. You know, she's young. Korean descent. So, the artist. And so, you know, I'll stay at it. You know, we're just slowly. It's like I had a conversation with Craig at the Peace, at Peace Village in front of the White House. So, I'm going to go take my turn. I'll be there November 2nd. I'll be in D.C. for a while. And uh, I said, Look, we are making a difference. Even though pot, he says the tourists come by, they don't want. I says, yeah, but here's the deal, Craig. They come by and they see you and your signs and everything you have there. We are making an effect at the subconscious level. Consciously, people won't even talk to us, won't even look at us, whatever. But that doesn't matter because I'm watching all these anti-nuclear 
bombs, anti-nuclear energy, the whole complex. I, I watch these trends like a wolf. And they're freaking trending our way so hard. And it's not economics. It's us as the apple seeders. We're penetrating the subconscious. I knew that when I started this YouTube channel. I knew that. I knew that's what had to happen. I mean, I know what I'm up to. I knew that the old style, this panty painter, come by, put hairspray, go on Zarte. I tell him, oh, yeah. I knew that does not work. It doesn't penetrate. Why do you think I use a lyric from each song, whatever? Because I know the recall inside the brain. I know the visual genre. So, I mean, just what Foxconn News has done, what everybody subliminally. It works in a big fucking way. It's been proven as artists, the visual genre. Michelangelo, it's been proven. It is so incredibly powerful what it does. If, if, if you're telling the truth, if you're telling the reality, if there's, so what happens is people sleep at night, whatever, they register all this information they gather in their brain daily. And it runs through that supercomputer called the human brain. And the supercomputer in your brain, whether you try to trick it, the dogma, hypnotize it, at the subconscious, you can't trick it. At the such concept, if you're telling the truth and they fucking get it, it will register and stay there. They won't talk about it. It's like sexually messy female. They're going to compartmentalize. But it's there. It's there. But that's how we change the fucking world. Is it too late? I don't know. Salmon numbers are so fucking low right now. I just looked at them. 323,000. MJ. Kevin Blanche, the Michael Jordan of the anti-nuclear fucking movement. Freshman, sophomore, fuck whatever. When the chips are down, like in... He hit, as a freshman, he hit the buzzer beater in the fucking national championship game. Ha! How about right there over Stockton and Malone? Not only stole the ball, we do our best work when we're sick. Stand to me.